There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. Groundbreaking finds are discovered every day, keeping our curiosity piqued and the prospect of actually knowing the world around us a foreign concept. Who were our ancestors? How did they live? Are we alone on Earth or are there other forms of life out there? Every day, it is possible to find something new and exciting, big or small, in your own backyard or in the most extreme places on Earth. Some take us to different planets and tell us about the cosmos. Some tell us about our history and where we came from. All of them leave us eager to learn more. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll take you on a journey through different eras and dimensions as we unpack three fascinating discoveries. Scientists find potentially alive 830 million year old microorganisms. A recent discovery has scientists rethinking the history of life on Earth. A team of geologists have discovered potentially living microorganisms that may be 830 million years old. They found the tiny remains of prokaryotic and algal life inside halite crystals. This discovery points to the possibility that halite, also known as rock salt or sodium chloride, may be a great resource for studying ancient saltwater environments. Additionally, just like the microorganisms the geologists found inside the halite crystals, they may find more organisms that might still be alive. This study has many implications for the study of ancient life here on Earth, but also on other planets like Mars. On Mars, scientists have already found salt deposits that may be evidence of ancient water reservoirs. The possible life that scientists found inside the halite crystals also presents ancient life in an entirely new way. In their research paper presenting the study, the team writes, Ancient chemical sediments, both on terrestrial and extraterrestrial origin, should be considered potential hosts for ancient microorganisms and organic compounds. Ancient microfossils had been found pressed into rock formations, which preserve life in a different way than salt. Inside the halite, fluid can be preserved, and these fluid inclusions are incredibly valuable as they contain information about the water at the time the mineral was preserved, like the water temperature, chemistry, and atmospheric temperature. Previously, scientists have found other microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, and algae inside halite environments. Some of the questions they are still trying to answer are whether or not those organisms are as old as the halite they live in, and whether or not they are even still alive. The researchers have noted that the fluid inclusions could serve as microhabitats for the organisms. They also know that there are organisms in modern extreme environments that can essentially go into hibernation where they are still alive, with their biological activities slowed down. This could be the case with the microorganisms inside the halite. In addition, they have already found living prokaryotes inside 250 million year old halite, so it's possible that number will reach as high as 830 million with other findings such as this recent one. Scientists researching this finding have noted that these microorganisms can now be identified without destroying the samples, which could give scientists a new set of tools that can be used for identification that can have broader implications for our understanding of Earth. Odd quakes in Utah reveal volcanic activity below desert. At times, new discoveries can be rather alarming, albeit necessary. For example, according to new research, two recent earthquakes in Utah in 2018 and 2019 were caused by the Black Rock Desert Volcanic Field, an ancient volcanic system. This volcanic system, which lives in Utah's Sevier Desert, has been active for over six million years and is still active today. Seismologist Maria Mezameri from the University of Utah summarized the research, saying that the earthquakes probably resulted from fluid-related movement in the area. The earthquakes could have been caused by fluid squeezing through rock or fluid movement that stresses the faults of the surface. The 2018 and 2019 earthquakes were recorded by instruments as part of the experimental project run by the U.S. Department of Energy, Utah Forge, as well as seismometers. These earthquakes, which were of a magnitude of 4.0 and 4.1 respectively, were followed by numerous aftershocks. Each aftershock provided more data for the seismologists to analyze. 
The analysis of these two earthquakes showed that they were not the result of tectonic activity, and the authors of the recent study ruled out the possibility that a mine collapse or explosion could have caused them. Researchers also found that the earthquakes were shallow, only 1.5 miles below the surface. They were also able to find deformation of the surface using satellites, a feat rare for earthquakes that small but made possible because of the shallowness of the events. The evidence points to the idea that the earthquakes were produced by volcanic fluids moving within the black rock volcanic field. Intriguingly, the evidence has revealed that black rock is still active. The events themselves were rare in the area, as black rock's last eruption event occurred over 1,000 years ago, then resulting in the ice springs lava flows. Volcanic activity is a feature of Utah's landscape that remains known by few. Most people don't associate active volcanoes with the state. Researchers have said that they cannot conclude if the 2018 and 2019 earthquakes are indicative of future earthquakes. However, they are an indication that the area around Black Rock needs more attention. According to Mesomeri, we need to improve seismic and volcanic monitoring in this area, so that we are aware of small changes that may occur. A hidden radioactive heat source underneath Earth seems to be melting. It is no secret that our poles, both north and south, are suffering from ice losses. What with climate change and several other factors, we are losing icy land at an alarming rate, encouraging scientists to gather as much data as possible so that we can predict what will come next and stay one step ahead. Well, it seems that this mission for data has been somewhat successful with a 2018 study revealing a large source of geothermal heat underneath East Antarctica which we have not considered in our icy loss predictions. The finding was first prompted by a rather strange radar reading. An aircraft flew over the Antarctic, taking radar readings as far as 3 kilometers into the ice. While this mission was impressive, it got more interesting when the aircraft detected something somewhat surprising. The ice was melting from the bottom up, melting the base of the Antarctic ice sheets. This melted water then drains and in turn fills up subglacial lakes. The international team put together researching this say that at this point in time, the geothermal heat is not a factor in this ice loss, though in the future this impact could become more significant, causing faster melting as time goes on. Lead researcher Tom Jordan from the British Antarctic Survey said, the process of melting we observe has probably been going on for thousands or maybe even millions of years and isn't directly contributing to ice sheet change. He continued to explain that the future impact could well be a different story, however, as the extra water that will be in the ice sheet bed as more ice melts could make the entire region more sensitive to the factors we know contribute to issues like this, such as climate change. The current theory the experts have is that radioactive rocks and hot water coming from inside of the Earth's crust could be adding to this melting. This theory has been drawn from observations made before and up to 750 kilometers inland from the shore. Luckily for us and the team, we have more than these surface observations. The Polar Gap project that this research falls under aims to fill in those details we just do not know based on satellite imaging specifically from the now-retired GOCE, or Gravity Field and Steady State Ocean Circulation Explorer satellite. GOCE was originally used to measure the changes in gravitational pull in Antarctica and mapped terrain in the process. By figuring out where there are sneakily hidden contours and pockets of warmth beneath the ice sheet, scientists can improve the accuracy of their predictions as they aim to figure out what is going on for Antarctica in its future. Now, Combining the data from the two studies, it seems the most likely explanation is that there are hot rocks and heated water aiding the ice melt, an important contributor we can consider in future explanations. Further supporting this idea is a 2017 study which revealed a number of heat sources underground within West Antarctica too. Some of these studies have also announced that there are possible further volcanoes in some Antarctic zones, and the heat from active volcanoes would, of course, melt ice. So these geothermal hot rock heat sources cannot be blamed for all of the Antarctic ice melting. However, 
it does mean that the rapidly increasing pace of the melting ice is not entirely human fault. It does mean we need to endeavour to be more environmentally conscious than ever and make sure that we are working with our planet, not against it. But what do you make of these strange but interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.